This is the execution of the conservation of energy with an Atwood machine video. We already know you're going to be using the pulley system, which you know how to use by now, and we're going to be using the LabQuest with the pulley, so make sure you set it on pulley, 10 spoke, which you already know how to do. With the bat, we know if we're using this uh, smart pulley, we need to change our timing or its motion, we need to change that to pulley. Your instructions will remind you, but in case you've forgotten, you hit motion, and then you just click on the pulley button, and hopefully it comes on. So that's the first thing we do. Trick is going to be the main problem with this is that these weights will run into these weights if you're not careful. So in fact, you'll have some weights where it says you need one kilogram. If you use the big one kilogram weight, it almost certainly will run into the other weight. So we may have to share weights around, but we can work through it. So one of the tricks you can do is to make sure when you put the weight on, when you pull it up, this tends to circle around. So you want to bounce back and forth, which we'll, I'll show you here. I kind of lift it up and set it down because you want it to where it lifts up, it's not off balance. So you lift up and then when you let it go, there's a good chance it misses. Now you notice right when it hit, I grabbed the weights, okay? I'll show you a trick to make sure all the weights don't fall off here in a second. This is another, this is a little technique that we need to use to keep the weights from falling off when they hit the floor. Your string's going to have a loop on it and if you just put that loop on the weight, it's nice and loose. When that weight hits the floor, that string will come off every time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this part of the string and loop it back inside the loop. So we're going to make a loop that we can tighten. Okay. Then we take this part of the loop and put around the hook on the weight and that then we can tighten that. So I stick the weight in there and I'm going to mess up and it's going to come off and I'm going to have to redo it here. There we go. But I just make the loop. I stick it in there. I tighten it down. Make sure this loop gets over the knot. Okay, because we want it cinched all the way down. Now, when that weight hits the floor, that string will stay on. So the weight will stay attached and makes it a safer lap. One other trick you can use to make the uh, weight hang straighter is you can adjust where the string is pulling on the weight. Some of these hooks are really crooked so you may want to slide the string a little forward or, or a little back. You want the weight hanging straight up and down. That decreases the chance that it's going to hit the other weight. And again, if you wind up hitting the other weight, just redo it. We're not doing that many trials so it's not that big a deal. But the fewer times you hit the weight, the fewer times you have to redo the trials. So after you put the weight on, you want to lift it up off the book a little bit and still you're sh until you're sure it's stabilized, that it's going to go straight up and not sideways, because if it's swinging, it's going to run into the weight. other weight. Then you let go. After it hits, then you grab the weight. That way, if some of the weights fall off, it won't fall and crack. After you stop it, your data should look like this. If you've got both graphs up there, if you just have the velocity graph, it'll just be this one. But we want to go use the table right here. So we're going to use the table value. So you click on that table and then you're going to have all these velocity values. So you want to scroll down until you find where the velocity peaks. Because where it starts going back down is where it's after, because it's going to keep speeding up until it hits the floor. And that's why when it hits the floor the instructions will tell you to try to grab the pulley so it doesn't keep spinning because if the string comes off the pulley, which it does quite a bit, and the wheel spring spins free, then you're going to have way high velocities and it's going to be really hard to pick. But I've found, I've done this several times, actually did the whole lab, that if you'll, as soon as it hits the book, you just grab the pulley, it'll be fine and it's pretty obvious where the pulley starts slowing down. So in this case, my velocity would be 1.61. I just keep two decimal places.